Hello everyone and welcome to my sixth race with Apex Racing League and this race is at the Hungora Ring in Hungary and as always I'm driving my Ferrari. So first of all I'll start off with quickly talking about the racing school while I'm on my out lap for my quali lap. Um, it is a little bit delayed, I did say I was going to try and get it before this video but unfortunately I haven't managed it, it's most of the way done now, I just want to try and get it as good as I can, I'm just trying to make a very good quality one if I can, I don't want to have it bodged but um, I will definitely be up before the next career video, so latest of Saturday. I hope to get up before that though if I can. So, then in the final corner, coming on to my qualifying lap then, back to this track. As you can see so far my best lap is a 20.577. That puts me in fourth place, but a little way down, about a second down on pole, which belongs to Ben at the moment. So, taking a really reasonably good first corner there, breaking right down, very very slow, almost a hairpin. The right hander there. And there's a lot of these type of corners at Hungary. Long sweeping corners. So coming to the end of the first sector now then with the RS wide open. Use most of my curves. What's the time going to be? One thousandth of my previous. Three hundredths up on Ben. So it's been a good first sector. Looks like I can improve my time. Let's have a look coming into the middle sector then. See if we can improve it anymore. I will mention quickly now that Onage unfortunately did disconnect again. So he won't be in unfortunately. But there we go. Again, it is what it is. I think I was 25 points ahead of Onage before this race. So I should hope that I'm now going to extend that lead further. So it's not good for him. Three thousandths down on Ben now. So I've lost a little bit of time, but I gained six tenths of my previous time. So it's a very good time so far. Need to go very, very quick in this final sector if I can. Pushing very hard. So Ben's done a 19.5 then. I've had a 25, so I was a second off him. But so I need to gain those four tenths. If I can, in the final sector, can I do it? DRS is wide open for the run to the line. What's going to be? It's a 19.763, so eight tenths up my previous. Still two tenths down on Ben, but I'm happy with that. I was on primes, but so was he, unfortunately. Matty G there has joined our league, but I believe he's actually going to leave again straight after this race, as he does disconnect after the first lap, unfortunately. He was only about, about 10 frames a second or so. He needs to buy a new computer, really, before he carries on. So go in then, have a look at the setup. So two front wing, one rear wing, braking 48.50 towards the rear, 52, sorry, 48.52 towards the rear, high pressure, uh, medium sized discs. I'm just going through the other settings here, I won't bother reading them out because I haven't changed any of these. I've just gone to the full dry setup, just tweak the wing and the brakes and that's all I've done. So there's them there anyway for your reference. Race strategy then, pitting on lap 20, lap 35 lap race, pitting on lap 20 for the pair set of the option tyres. That will hopefully take me to the end of the race. So there was some talk of a two-stop. So if my tyres wear too much, I will be going for a two-stop. And I will say now that I wasn't really a fan of this track in practice. Just couldn't really get along with it. Couldn't get a flow. A so I'm not expecting magic, particularly in this race. But we'll see how it goes. Third on the grid's not bad. Right behind Ben. So let's see. Five lights then. And they're out straight away and we're away. So going straight to Richmond as always. Get a bit too much wheel spin, but it's too late to use a throttle now. Using about... Am I going to use all my curves? I am. I'm going to use all my curves. Go up the inside of Ben then. Oh, as he squeezes me there. Makes contact and pushes me. Unfortunately there, I would have had a dial at the inside, but he squeezed me out. So, managed to hold my position. That's not bad. Can't complain too much at that. There's Ben and Matty G there. I'll try and follow Matty G up the inside. Trying to get an overtake on Ben. Can I manage it? Not quite, unfortunately. As you can see there, as I mentioned previously, there's Matt disconnecting. So up alongside Ben then, at the end of this first sector, into this very fast left-hander, breaking right down into fourth gear, breaking very early, but... No, as I run wide and then get a good shove from behind, from the Williams from behind. So I did push Ben out, but I did actually break quite early in that corner. Was I have a look at the inside of Ben? But no, I think better of it into this this horrible chicane. I've never been a fan of that one. So I just need to stick close to Ben and hope that he makes a mistake or wait until the DRS zone, really. As he does look pretty quick on this track. But he's on the same strategy as me, unlike last race, so there's no advantage in the strategy. Unfortunately, so Rani there right behind me in the Sauber, pretty close. So let's hope that he can't be a part of this fight. He is on the option tyres, so he should in theory be quicker. This first phase of the race. But we'll see if we can pull away from him or not. So it looks like I'm well within a second of Ben then. You don't get DRS until lap 3. 30.0 then for the first lap of the race. Half a second down on Ben, so plenty close enough. Still on rich mixture as I usually do for the first couple of laps. So taking the first corner very nicely there. Managed to stay pretty close behind Ben, but 
get a bit of oversteer on the exit, unfortunately, and lose that advantage. So, still just trying to hold on to Ben, trying to not let him pull away. I do ideally need to beat him because, although I did win last race, I only gained seven points overall since I joined the league. Between me and Ben, there is seven points difference. So he is, I think, it's about 45 points ahead of me, unfortunately, because of the few races he had extra. But ignoring those few races he had extra, there's only seven points difference between us. So it's pretty close at the moment. But if he wins this race and I come second, it will be even again. So it's very, very close between us. So I need to be pushing hard and trying to overtake him. I don't want to let him get any more advantage. I need to start reeling him in now for the championship. I need to do a Vettel and reel him in slowly. So six tenths back now then from Ben. Lost a tenth, but seven tenths away from Rani. So that's good. We're managing to pull away from him slowly but surely. It's all about the same distance to each other at the moment. Oh, looks like Rani might have made a bit of a mistake there, though. He fell back a little bit. Let's have a look when we cross the line, see what the time's going to be. So I have a lot of curves there, there. I forgot to use it. Missed a bit of curves, you should say. So 1.8 back to Rani, so we did indeed make a mistake for about a second. And I'm only 8 tenths behind Ben, and I will get DRS at the end of this lap, so he needs to be pushing very hard now. It's my best so far is a 24 0 exactly to the nearest 1000, so that's interesting. That Ben's done a 23 7, so with 3 tenths up on me. So I still need to push hard then. It looks like he's a little bit faster than me at this phase. But I'm going to try and push hard, stay with him, get DRS. If I keep getting a DRS, that'll at least allow me to stick with him if it doesn't allow me to overtake him. So, two tenths up my previous end. I've actually gained a bit on Ben. So I'm on for a similar lap time to what he did last lap. But we'll see. So, dive into the chicane then. Very clunky and horrible. I said it before, but I really don't like that chicane. Just ruins your flow, I find. It either goes well or it goes terrible, really. Again, it's not great at all, but in the second sector now, three and a half tenths up now on my previous, and nine tenths behind Ben, so he's gone a little bit faster than me in that middle sector, but I need to be pushing hard now to try and stay within that one second. I'm only a few hundredths inside at the moment, but it looks like I've had a better corner than him. The DRS detection line is just here, and the activation is just here, so I have indeed got DRS, so that's good. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to overtake him. The DRS zone is just too short. But I'm six tenths of my previous. So 23.3. So that hopefully is fast up the race. Purple means fastest of anyone so far. So that's good. I'm happy with that. So coming out of the first corner then. Just trying to stick with Ben. Looks like. Judging by that DRS zone. I need for him to make a mistake. Or be able to push hard to get really close to him in the DRS zone. But. Does look so likely. Just more than likely, just go for a mistake, really, for Ben if I can. Six cents though behind him, so I've gained some more on the first sector. That's always a good sign. So, go through the chicane again then. And into the middle sector. Lap four of 35. It looks like Rani has indeed dropped us, dropped off first by quite a way. So that's good. So only half a tenth down on previous ends, so it's been a good lap, but Ben is now 9.7 tenths away from me, so if he can get away even a few hundredths of a second, he'll be outside the DRS zone, so I need to push very hard, try and stay within it. Don't know if I've managed that, that was a little bit too far by the looks of it. It was indeed, unfortunately, no DRS for me on this lap. So, going to standard mix at the end of the straight then, as we now flip to lap 10. And I'm now 4.5 seconds away from Ben. Just pulled away from me a little bit by a little bit. Never got DRS after that one time on lap 3. Never got DRS thereafter, unfortunately. So, after a few laps, I decided to conserve my tyres. As you can see on the right-hand side there, they're getting pretty worn. Hoping that Ben is either going to go for a two-stop. Or he's going to get some serious tyre wear. With his quick speed. I think that's pretty much my only hope. I might be able to catch him, but he's, if I can catch him, I'll only be equal with him, so I'll be surprised if I can overtake him even if I can. So This lap, though, is the lap when I decided to push harder. I realised I was being probably a bit too conservative. So I've now decided to push even harder and try and see if I can bridge the gap, because Ben was gaining probably about half a second or so per lap on me. It was quite a bit of time. But this, like I said, this is a lap that 
I decided to go for it and push hard. So let's see, am I up? I am half a second up, so there's the half a second. So the gap's now 4.6 to Ben. Let's see if I can maintain it roughly around there. So I decided now that if Ben's tyres are worn, this is the time to pounce. Don't want to leave it right up until lap 20 because it'd probably be too late, so... Decided to be more aggressive now than conservative. I've started using rich mixes just on this straight as well. So six tenths of my previous are 23.597, so only about three tenths of my fastest lap, so that's very good. 4.7 still to Ben. So he's not gained on me, luckily. Well, not luckily, skillfully, I should say. So got a bit of oversteer on the exit though, got on the curb a little bit too much and just got a bit of wheel spin and lost the rear end slightly. So coming now then to the end of the first sector, can I still remain at 4.7, 4.8 more or less within a tenth? And I was only 5,000 down on my previous lap so it's going well thus far. And indeed managing to maintain the gap so it wasn't just a one-off lap last lap. Oh, was I run wide and clunk over the curb? That's the chicane that I keep saying I don't like. Just got a warning for corner cutting there. Just took a little bit too much speed in. Ran a little bit wide. I had to bounce over the curb. That wasn't pretty. It's not what you want to see a Formula 1 car doing. Bouncing all over the curbs, particularly. It looks good in places like Monaco when you really have to push the curbs, but in those sort of curbs, the big ones. Like in Abu Dhabi, they're just not pretty when a Formula 1 car bounces over them. So, I suspect I've lost time then on this lap because of that. I did miss the second sector, I wasn't concentrating enough, I was more concentrating on what I was saying than what was on screen. But we'll find out now, so it's 6 cents down on my last lap indeed, and that's exactly the amount that Ben's gained on me. 6 tenths, so it's all down to me now then, it looks like I can match his speed. If I can push hard enough, but that's all I can do. That was a pretty good lap for me the last couple of laps, so... I'm not hopeful that I can catch him, to be honest. Like I said, I'm hoping for his tyre wear to be excessive, or for him to go to a two-stop, or if he makes a few big mistakes. But It's looking unlikely at this point, but that's not going to stop me from pushing. I never give up. Even if it's unlikely, there's no point giving up. Otherwise, I might, just, might as well just quit now. So, tenth up my previous then. 5.2 to Ben. So, I've gained a tenth on him. So, coming into the chicane then, can I manage it this time? I can, yeah. Keep it nicely within the... Well, with inside the big curbs, you've got to go over the little curbs, but you've got to stay away from the big curbs, so manage that. As you see on my tyre where it indicates on the right hand side there, my front left is actually starting to look pretty worn, that's because the corners like this one here. There's a lot of high speed right hand corners. Oh, was I went a little bit wide there, half a second up, so that's because I'm not making a mistake in that chicane. And still 5.2 to bend, so I'm still maintaining the gap. So it looks like I have got the gap, the pace to maintain the gap, but not catch, unfortunately. So the rest of the tyres are looking a little bit worn, but this is the front left particularly that's looking worn. And corners like this one here, very long right hander, puts a lot of stress into the front left tyre. So six cents up, I've gained exactly the amount that I lost in the last lap. Back down to a 23.6 and 5.3, so Ben gained less than a tenth on me, or around a tenth on me in the last lap. So that's not too much. Oh, was I run right out wide though. Get all over the kerbs. Got a little bit too keen with the throttle on the exit. I just ran out too wide, unfortunately. So, coming now then, to the end of the first sector, how's it been for me? It's three cents down, so not a good sector, that's from running wide in turn one. It's not been great, So, and that's almost exactly what Ben's gained on me, funnily enough, so... It's um, all about me, I think a perfect laps in, I can maintain the gap, possibly reduce it ever so slightly, but... If I can't get perfect laps in small mistakes, that's what Ben pulls out from me. So I did watch a bit of Ben's video actually as well. And um, he did look like he had a good setup actually, watching his qualifying laps and his previous race laps. His setup did look very good, so I expect he's done some fiddling with the suspension settings and whatnot, balance settings, which I don't do unfortunately. I probably should, but I didn't have as much practice out of life this race. This is not my favourite track, but um, I've never really delved too much into the suspension and balance settings and things like that, although I need to, ready for my racing school <laughs> video on it, because at the moment I know very little about it to be honest. I know it gives you a bit of an advantage, but mainly it's about curb usage and slow speed cornering. 
so I've never really bothered. I just like to get a bit of oversteer and handle the oversteer. I don't necessarily like it to drive on rails, I like a little bit of oversteer. A bit like Lewis Hamilton. I find I can drive well with a bit of oversteer. But some drivers do just use the brakes because with the ABS off you can just slam on the brakes when you get a slide on. And the car will just correct itself in this, it will just straighten itself up. Now, a bit cushy, do lose time by doing that. But it is a bit of a cheat, but I very rarely use that. I only lose that when I've really lost the rear end and I'm about to fly into the barrier. I generally tend to correct oversteer properly with a correction on the wheel. I do feather the throttle sometimes as well to correct some oversteer. But very rarely use the brakes, as I said, unless I've really almost spun. So 5.5 to bend now then, so I have my more or less maintained the gap for the last couple of laps. It's, um, if you take out my mistake, he's only gained about two tenths on me in the last sort of three or four laps, so it's not bad. Including my mistake, it's more like a second. But I've achieved my target of just trying to stay with him for a bit. I was just getting tired of seeing him pull away in the gap, so I wanted to see if I can actually maintain the pace with him. As I said, I decided to go conservative instead and save my tyres, but then I realised actually that the tyres aren't really going to wear out. Already lap 16, four laps left to go till I pit. And the tyres aren't looking too bad. They're not perfect, but they're not they're not too bad. They'll really easily get there. So, ooh, was I went very wide there. In that fast left-hander. So it's now 5.5, Ben, so he must have made a little mistake in the first sector. I've gained two tenths on him. It's still five seconds, it's still plenty of time for him to pit. Ooh, as I get very wide there, I have to correct a little bit of oversteer as I get all over the kerb. And very nearly into the grass. So I do collect a bit of grass on the inside tyre there. So we're coming now to the end of the second sector. Three tenths down on my previous, so that's given Ben those three tenths. My tyres are starting to feel a little bit second hand now, so it doesn't look like Ben is though, unfortunately. It looks like Ben's tyres are still okay. So, ooh, loads of that's their confirmation of what I was saying just a second ago. Get a bit wheel spin on the exit and oversteer and just correct it rather than slam on the brakes. So, going to reach them for the run down the straight. Lap 17. Six seconds behind Ben now, then. So, breaking down into the first corner. 24 1 that last lap was. So, almost a second off my best now. Despite having lower fuel, the tyres are just getting pretty worn. So I did actually watch some of Ben's video, as I said, and he, couldn't, he didn't actually display the tyre wear indicator at any point, unfortunately, in his video. So I was interested to see how much tyre wear he got. But even well, just as he was coming into the pits, he just displayed the fuel indicator, which is frustrating. Because I was interested to see what his tyre wear was like, whether it's the same as mine or whether he just didn't get much tyre wear. But there we go. Yeah, this video is down more than me as well. He only does, well, usually tries to get down to 15 minutes if he can. With this race so far, at least, it's been pretty boring. So, ooh, a bit of oversteer on the exit there. So, this the video for this race for Ben is only 15 minutes long so as well. So, there's quite a bit of editing going into it. I usually try to get my videos around 30 minutes long. Ooh, as I cut the corner there. Just turned in too early. It's too late to correct it. So, 6.6 .6 now to Ben then. So, he's getting quite a bit on that last lap. I'm not too much down either, but... He's about a second up on me or so on this lap. And I'm three cents down on my previous, but I was a second quicker about five laps ago. But looks like Ben's definitely got the pace as we skip forward now to lap 20. I was due to pit this lap, or last lap now. But I decided to go one lap longer in the hope that Ben would pit and I could hopefully save my option tyres for perhaps the last lap of the race where his tyres might be worn. But unfortunately, he does the same thing, stretches out to lap 21, and he's now over 10 seconds ahead of me. So. As you see my tyre wear indicator there on the right hand side, my front left is now really quite very warm and the rest of them are starting to follow it now so really haven't got any grip, could have done with coming in this lap but knew that the undercut wasn't going to work because I might have gained even say two seconds on him, that would have only been eight seconds and then he would have had less tyre wear than me for the rest of the race so that wouldn't have worked so I decided to go one lap longer in the hope he'd pit this lap but unfortunately he's done the same thing as me so that's not going to work, ooh as I went wide there, you can see really now the understeer I'm getting from these tyres Particularly these right hand corners. Very, very slow. Just 95 miles an hour in the middle of that corner. We'll see what the option speeds are going to be a minute and 125 through that one. 
if I can remember that, we'll see what I'm going to be like on the options, even on the outlap when they're cold. So two cents down on previous, 10.7 to bear now, so doesn't look like I'm going to catch him unless he makes some serious mistakes. But there we go, I'll see what I can do, as I said, I never give up. Go into this pit then, quite a tricky entry. And yes, indeed, Ben is in the pits, you should see him pulling out in front of me, there he is. So we're leaving his pit box and I'm just coming into mine so it shows the distance between us, unfortunately. As the Ferrari boys get a 2.85 second stop. It's a very good stop. So I've got a nice and shiny new set of options now. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to go for fast lap of the race. Wouldn't mind having that one. Be some sort of payback really for Ben. If I beat me by so much, I would like the fast lap if I can. We'll see what I can do. So we're going to be comparing the speeds as well in the fast right-handers. So Franny does a fast up of the race at 22.6. So about 6 tenths up. 7 tenths rather on my previous lap. Or my previous best lap rather I should say. So he's looking pretty quick but hopefully I can go quick on that on these options. So it's 10.9 seconds then now to bend then. He's actually gained a little bit on me in the pit stop phase. I was actually turning too early there because I'm surprised by how much grip these tyres have got and again. So this corner, I had 95 miles now on, the, on when I had the primes, and I still have because these tyres aren't warmed up. And it was 125 miles now for this right-hand corner, so we're watching then the speedometer. I managed to keep it over 130 miles now for that corner, so definitely got more grip. Even though the tyres aren't flipped, temperature. So 11 seconds now to bend then, he's still gaining on me. Even now I'm pushing very hard, trying to get these tyres up to temperature and trying to gain a little bit on Ben. Hoping that he's slow on the cold tyres, but he's still quicker than me, unfortunately. So going to Rich Mitch now then, going for a fast slap, using the rest of my curves then for the run to the start finish line, 11.1 .1 to Ben now. So as I said, pretty much no chance of catching him, unless I, even if I have lightning pace, unless he makes big mistakes. So just watch this now, hopefully it will be the fastest lap of the race, if I can manage it, fingers crossed. Sun and Water's a fast lap now, 22.2, so that's over a second quicker than my previous best, so that's a bit more like it. He's in third place behind me. Having a good battle with Rani. So 14.7 purple fast to anyone first sector. So I've beaten Senna Moore's time in the first sector. And 11 seconds Ben. So I've actually gained on him as well in the first sector. So that's good. One for a fastest lap at the moment. So coming into the chicane. Pushing very hard. Oh, so I run a little bit wide. Get my rear wheels ever so slightly on the grass. So see if I can keep over 95. I can. Just under 100 miles an hour through that corner. And this next corner is 125 miles an hour. So let's see if I can manage that. Yeah, easily over 130 miles an hour. So confirms how much more grip I've got. An extra 5 miles an hour into each corner. Makes a big difference. So 15.3. I'm still only 11 seconds back from Ben. So I've still overall gained on him on this lap. So it's 10.4 back to Son of Moore by looks of it. So he's a little way back, but not miles back. So coming then. Is it going to be a fast lap? Ben is a fast lap. 21.2. And I beat it. But with 21.191. So beat it by about four hundredths of a second so not by a lot but I'll take that so I'm still going to push hard though I reckon I can still go faster than that and undoubtedly Ben will want to get a fast lap of the race as well to get a good sweep of race win and fastest lap which is what I managed to achieve in the last race so coming to the end of the first sector then am I going to be up my previous I am three hundredths up on my previous lap then very, very close, but Ben's gone two tenths faster, I believe. Somewhere around there. So it looks like he is on for beating that lap, unfortunately. So breaking very late into the chicane, get a little bit wide, slightly miss my apex, and get a bit of oversteer on the exit. So really pushing hard now. I want this fastest lap because I know I'm not going to be able to beat him realistically, but if I can get a fast lap of the race, that'll be some sort of cons consolidation. So we're into the second sector then. Am I up? I'm not. I'm three hundredths down, and Ben's getting another couple of tenths, so. Looks like he's going to beat me unless I can really do something special in this final sector. I'm going to try my best. And I might even go for one more after this lap, we'll see. So coming to the final corner then, just trying to maintain speed. So you've got a little bit of curves left using all that now. What's it going to be? Ben's at 20.89 and I've gone 1,000 up. Beat my previous lap by 1,000th of a second. So yes, I did beat it, but it wasn't a fastest lap. Because Ben went about four tenths up on his previous, so a bit of corner cutting in the first corner there, unfortunately. 
just cut the corner ever so slightly so looks like Ben's got the fast slap as well now as I said about four tenths up on me so it's unlikely we're going to get that one back but I'm still pushing hard this lap to get it even though I cut the first corner but let's see if I'm up in the first sector I'm not I'm down 200s down so clearly didn't gain any advantage in the first corner there by cutting it so 11.4 more or less to Ben so to the chicane then that was a much better chicane nailed the apexes so it's looking like a good middle sector so far can I maintain it one more corner to go really this next one here the fast right hander it's gone pretty well yeah it's gone well I am I'm a tenth and a half up so one for my personal best but green means personal best not fast of anyone so I'm still not going to beat Ben and I have gained on Ben he must have turned his engine down and backed off a bit I'm still going for that fastest lap Needs to be something really special in this last sector. Ooh, just have to make slight corrections there. Very wide right out onto the kerb. Is it up? It is. Only 300 so, so I lost a tenth that last sector. So 21.157. 21 it looks like my fastest lap of the race then. As my tyres will start to be getting a little bit worn now. And I run wide there in the first corner. And the game backs off the throttle for me. So that's pretty much it now for the run of fastest laps. I reckon I could have matched Ben, but it would need to be in a perfect lap, so realistically that was probably out of reach for me, unfortunately. As I said, just haven't done enough practice on this track, and just haven't got a good enough setup. It would be interesting to see Ben's setup, but I don't believe he publishes them. I could be wrong, but I've had a quick look and I couldn't see where he publishes them, so can't unfortunately see if he has and how much he has tweaked his setup. But there we go, so still pushing though to see if I can beat it. I do want that fastest lap. Nothing better for me to do. Next car's miles behind, next car's miles in front. So I'm in no man's land, six tenths down, so yeah, no chance. So 11.2 to Ben. And how far back is Senna Moore now? Looks like he's dropped back. Let's have a look. How far back is he? Quite a way by the looks of it. Here he comes now. 17.2 seconds, so... Looks like it's almost 15 seconds either side of me. So I'm in 30 seconds of clear track at the moment. While well, there is some back markers up ahead, but not going to worry about them as we skip now to the last lap of the race. Nothing much happened apart from Ben gaining more and more time on me. And Ranny's taking third place look off of Centimore. But by less than a second, so that should be interesting towards the end of the race. But I'm now 16 seconds back from Ben and 23 seconds ahead of them. So even more in no man's land now, unfortunately. So... It was a fairly fundamentally boring race for me. I tried to make it a bit interesting with the commentary, but I'm um, not sure I did a too much of a good job. It's difficult to do when there's nothing happening. Same as the com commentators in real life, they struggle when in a practice session when no one's out on track. It's difficult to be able to say anything when just nothing's happening in front of you. But I did my best. Hopefully it wasn't too boring and terrible for you. We're on the last legs now, last lap of the race. So not much longer to bear. You can go and use your time doing better things in just a moment, like practicing yourself on this game. Or watching my other videos. I hope you're not watching other people's channels. <laughs> so six cents down on my previous there. It's not been a great last lap and I'm having to manage fuel a little bit. You see on the right hand side there, fuel optimal. Might as well stay on lean, it's not really gonna make a difference. To go to standard though. Every tenth counts. I told you push right to the line I do as always. But Ben was just a faster man today unfortunately. So 20.8 fast lap, 21.1 so that was the laps we saw just a moment ago. And 18 seconds back from Ben. 41 seconds Rani was back from Ben. So very much in no man's land. First and second from me and Ben once again as you can see there. Last six races have been won by me, either me or Ben. And so has been second place has been the other person. So, as I said, if you ignore those first three races that Ben did, we are dead even on points. Three wins each, three second places each. But that does mean, unfortunately, I'm 52 points behind him because of those three races. So, would be a very interesting championship if you were to remove those races that Ben had extra. But that's, again, as I said, that's not going to stop me. I'll be pushing right to the end till it's mathematically impossible for me to win this championship. But Spa next which I'm hoping, well, I will definitely be faster at Spa. I prefer the track. 
I like it more and I will do more practice and I'll get a better setup. So that'll be next week. So looking forward to that one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.